I created 2v2 wingman tournament for my viewers and this is how it went. I mean, would you get 4 kills at least in this match? You know, maybe... Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> balls to do that. So huge balls. Wow. Balls of steel. Balls, balls of... So huge balls. The format is simple. We're gonna play two qualifiers in pistol only matches and the main tournament is gonna be played on wingman format. Pause the video now if you wanna take a closer look at. Especially with spawn protection, like what can you do to defend yourself against that? I would have like some kind of fox right beside me like all the time, like I wouldn't <laughs> leave that. That's my <laughs> body. <pretty> much. <laughs> 45 kills. One Damn minute. It. What? Alright. Is that sus? Do we need to look into him? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> mm, second match will be dual MTX only. This, gonna, this is gonna be chaos. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. I will slap you, that tuna fish you avoided in high school. <laughs> I didn't realize that it, it, there was no melee damage, so it just died instantly. Yeah, Word Piece got the top at the moment. It's five seconds. We got the kill. Word Piece got as well, but we got second kill. And 61 kills. He, he beats with one, one kill. kill. The qualifiers are now complete and we have our 8 players ready. I'm gonna remind you again that this is 2v2 wingman format with limited map layout. And the first match is gonna be played in Buru, team AJ Brown against team Boa. Indeed. And at the Big same team. time Cuddling and, and Sir are going really slowly checking every single angle. Oh, and I think that they see one, but do they oh. know? The other is there. Oh, and AJ and takes out. Sure. Cutting. Now it's a one v one, and oh, AJ oh. and gets the kill on cuddling, and indeed, and you can see Team Boa actually like you know coming up with the rotations, trying to get a pick on Banana, and now they rotate to mid as they creep up a little bit. Peeking now got the tag down and finished the kill as well. I don't know if he's gonna take the gun, but that's Ox, so that's really and powerful. And the SMG of Danny, Ooh. he got the first and he even has 70 HP and finishes the rest. Oh my god, that's nice. Well played by Danny. And now you can see that they're going up Banana and is yep. this gonna be an aggressive round now that they have rifles? We see Danny actually taking out Cuddling and sure trades him out. AGN actually with a rotation, see Shore just slowly creeping up towards a site. Sure, not sure about what to do at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did there. Yeah, I like that, right? And now the bomb is planted, so pressure is on AJ to try to settle and reclaim site. He doesn't notice that Sure has been doing some Ooh. big brain stuff, but he's making he's noise. Him. But it doesn't wow. matter. Sure, with the nice instant headshot, everybody is like playing really well at the moment. This is neck and neck, really. It's head to head, six to six potentially, or seven to five. True, yep. that is indeed correct. And Danny That's is taking Danny. beautiful double kill in the smoke. This is going to be interesting for Coddling now as he's pulling up a rotation. They're going towards Intel, but... Seems like he knows, turning his back away from them. But Danny and AJ is literally going by the corner. And he almost gets the clutch. We're seeing a slow approach here. Danny and AJ are definitely like a lot more cautious since they, have, yeah. they haven't won the last two rounds. So... Okay, I, I, it's 10-8 now. But if AJ and Danny had pushed up real, qu real fast, I think they would have gone on to a site. Ooh, this is going to come down to timing, actually. And yeah, huddling in the he corner. He doesn't no, check No, he it. doesn't. And okay. now it's really feeling like Boa is starting to get away with it. Decide to push fully. No care in the world. Just push. Kill them all, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Danny with the first pick. Also with half HP, roughly. And no, oh, Danny kills. Sure, and there we go. 11 to 9 towards intel 
and gets through the smoke. AJ, and now the rotation comes and does Shore expect it? Sitting in the corner watching Intel. Do AJ Brown expect Shore to be in that position? And I if not, can so. they flick fast but enough? They see and oh, him. Danny! sees them at the crucial moment and there we go it's 11 to 10. are we gonna see the comeback no jinx in hardly just holding it out and oh and with the double sure creeping up coming from cp but, but does Dolly. he expect no he doesn't no and we have cd's team boa for the first win congratulations super close and honestly like i think a huge shout out to both teams. They made it really fun. Honestly. Yeah. And we see instantly Phoenix peeking below. And we see some kind of stacking happening. Mm. Blue right. Eagle with a tap on Zenova. Now it's a perfect position for this. And that should be it. Got a little close, definitely. But I think in the end, that's what we kind of expected. They're just pushing towards mid. Can they maybe get the flank off and try to get They're some sort of hit? so fast. Zenova, does it? He expect it? And no, he doesn't. And Phoenix with one. Louis and now the pressure. Yeah. The pressure is on. He's back. But we get the and Blue, Blue Eagle, Eagle peeking. Oh my god. Wow. Balls of steel, I, I should call. I'm full blind as a observer as well. <laughs> I cannot see anything. Blue Eagle pushing top. Phoenix. But Phoenix. What a shot. He doesn't have any armor and still gets the kill. And now he's got an SG to his name as well, and there we go. What a clutch, man. And one is top. He's still spamming the side is his with the shotgun. Do we see shotgun win? No, we're, he's so confident in taking those 1v1s, I guess. He's still around, and Vir and Blue Eagle are slow walking like never before. Both of the CTs are camping the site. Blue Eagle knows the position, they get the frags, and they're pushing. And get uh, the kill. That's an interesting strategy. Expect this now. No, they aren't. And, and there we go, bomb is down. How playing the outplay, that was... Yeah. And we can see now Blue Eagle has the in almost impossible scenario, has to push top, pre-firing, but get flashed, and oh, he wow. still gets and the, the kills! <laughs> oh my god, what a clutch wow. by Blue Eagle. <laughs> and we're with the nice flick. Doesn't yeah. want to take it to match point, and here we go, Phoenix gets one of the kills, and now it's a 1v1 situation with both players on 100 health. Insane flank timing at the moment, Blue Eagle doesn't have any idea, but he probably just, just wants to wait for the plan. Let's see. And there it goes, yeah. we see the plan coming in, and there we go. Let me see, Phoenix is not using that pop anymore, and Blue Eagle with so much age behind him. Knows that the second player is side Ooh, and gets the kill as well. Beautiful gameplay. And Senova with fast flank. It's 1v1 for the match point. Senova has oh, to clutch this. Oh, and Blue Eagle flash. Yeah, it's gonna be about this fight. Ooh, Bottom. and Blue Eagle, would he expect him off of side actually on B ramp? The smoke Senova comes smoke. out. Oh my god. I think Blue Eagle has small gap. Yeah, indeed he does, and it's planted for him as well. Senova doesn't realize that he's on vent. And time goes away, but he still Zenova. gets the kill! He but doesn't know where to bomb! Time. He doesn't know where to bomb, and no time! He doesn't have no any time! time. He, da he had time, but he forgot where the bomb is. <laughs> And that secures the win for Blue Eagle and Veer to now face Team Boa in the finals. So, we have our two final teams ready to go. But before that, there was third place decider match that happened in Plaza. And sadly I have to skip it in this video because I don't want to make it three hours long. But I really recommend you to go watch it if you want to see clutch plays like this. And I think it's gonna work out actually, yeah. Zenova is not watching at all! Wow. And he kills him behind! Beautiful play by Donny. So huge balls to do that.
For now though, let's focus on the Wingman Tournament Finals. Good luck, have fun everyone. He's gonna have so much more options essentially. Much more. We're instantly going for the plant. Like what is happening here? See this left the side and they're pushing it, it looks now. Like yeah, they're retaking together and now that's it. But now Shore has the advantage of being on site. Yeah. But how he's is Blue nervous. Eagle play this out? Blue Eagle playing the time. And now yeah. has to try to get he's the He's too deduce, nervous. But... He cannot do anything. And Blue Eagle is just jumping around and One hit HP! Oh, one wow. HP! Using some smokes to try to isolate the fight. And now V goes down and... Yeah, Blue Eagle now... knows he's low though. So should be free kill, but he... He's faking it out and sure doesn't fall for it. But he still peeks. Ooh. He still decides to peek even even though he knew he wasn't planting the bomb. Looks like Shore and Cuddling are only just now getting on towards B side. And this might actually catch the breach off guard because they don't expect this. But no, Blue Eagle with the kill on Shore. And there Wait. we go. Blue Eagle on the head glitch in heaven. You're gonna see a Cuddling versus Fear now. Who's gonna take it and Ooh, and takes the flick! It. And now Shaw in a bit of a sticky situation because he needs to now watch two angles, potentially three if you peek through the smoke in heaven. They just have to isolate the fight and play it together. There we go, they know he's there and there you go, the refrag. This is what I mean, the teamwork, the chemistry. That... He's going for early peak, but doesn't... And cuddling is now towards half HP with the nades and the warbang. The full blind, does Blue Eagle know? Position he doesn't know, but gets the kills either way. Last is on the side. And He's... Blue Eagle through the smoke eliminates Shaw. And if you take a look at the scoreboard, you can see Blue Eagle going 10 and 1. But you can't ignore the contribution from there. This is a very yeah. teamwork based game mode. So, and now Cuddling takes out Blue Eagle. So it's all up to Veer. And he gets the yeah. first kill on Cuddling. No, and the other here one we go 1v1. Yeah. Throws the smoke to try to block him off. Did that smoke land as he wanted it to though? Oh my Gets god! Gets the drop shot onto Shaw, and as we were talking about Veer, he trades out and actually comes back. wins out. Oh this is exactly what days. I mean. Yeah. Even though Veer's contribution initially wasn't so grand, it was about the teamwork. Like the whole concept of 2v2 wingman now comes to life. Veer has, I think, kind of a amazing timing at the moment. Oh, but the timing... Doesn't look yeah. like it's favoring either of them. Yeah, Blue Eagle notices that, that there is a possibility of that. Fakes the plant, and sure is trying to push through and plays and the sure. timing. Beautiful play, 6 to 2 now. You can see they're both going towards the ramp area, both Shaw and Cuddling, holding it from there. Let's see if it works. Will it though, with them both being on towards the ramp? The first oh. kill, they get the kill on oh. Blue Eagle, and there we go, cuddling, holding heaven to make sure that his teammate doesn't die, and that was good play. But this is something we haven't seen yet. Blue Eagle going instantly pushing sight and surprising fully, sir. And oh wow, there, all the way in boiler, cuddling had no idea whatsoever. He tried to flank from heaven, and there he was. And now the sides have flipped as well, so we can see actually from Coalition, Blue Eagle and Veer are going towards mid, and it's very fast as well. At the same time, though, Shaw and Cuddling they're gonna have, like fight they have, here. have a gunfight right there. And put in towards Boiler. And Veer yeah. hits second with kill as double. well. Now they're able to fall by as well, so yeah. Shaw and Cuddling, both with Eagles. And they push the Veer long. And, and Blue he... Eagle with the cheeky double right there. And that's 9 to 5 now. And Cuddling and Sean are pretty much spending all of their economy on AKs. Blue Eagle and they're both opting out to stay with the M4s. Both of them are top. And Shaw sure, just oh, absolutely demolishes. And now Veer on his own against players that relatively aren't full HP at all. Gets the but... one kill. And gets and the second kill Veer. as well. With... Oh, no, Sure and all sure it does eliminate there of course with the eagle. He gets there the we go one. With one. Oh. And oh so close to getting the second, but cuddling HD. does end up getting the kill, yeah. And that's now 10 to 9. This is getting really tight and that's yeah. exactly what you'd what you'd want a final to be. Indeed. Finals and one round game. Art cannot take it. Um 
it's gonna be P long probably everybody is gonna peek blue eagle is gonna take the one Vir has kind of a good position if he really listens carefully but now Vir has the sound does he get the kill? Oh my god, he, he gets Ooh. the kill. Then make it super interesting. Yeah, it's... Oh my god, what a flick by Vir. Going towards ramp, but does sure expect two players to be there. Yeah, waiting for him. And Blue Eagle is playing for Vir. There we go. That's Vir. so nice. Game point. One point away from winning out the entire event. Um, and you can see now Blue Eagle with the confidence actually going up and trying to flank them now. Yeah, but he doesn't notice. Yeah. Sure, in the corner, and yeah, he, he but doesn't he doesn't get, the, get kill. the kill. And now bomb is down, and now it's one v one with the Rishi Colding and Blue Eagle calling with half HP. Yeah, but no armor but and gets, gets the, the flip flick. on Blue Eagle. Ooh, oh what a play! God. What a play! The round of flicks, honestly. This is gonna be so hectic. And you can see Blue Eagle was not able to buy a body cavalry for the shroud as well. What does Blue Eagle do? He's been flashed now. He has to Both go back Both of them are bit, full blind. And cuddling with and insane Volpang as well. And now they know where Blue Eagle is as well. Are they going to smoke it out? They oh do. And days. sure, with what the kill shit. through the smoke. There we go. 12 to 11 now. Oh this is God. getting close for a final. What more could you want? Yep. And we might be suspecting that somebody is in... Vince and Cuddling and doesn't get the go. kill. Now Sean needs to clutch this one out. Oh, our winners will be Blue Eagle and Vare. And there we go, Sean with the kill on Vare. Has to get the kill on Blue Eagle. He's sitting in heaven yeah, all the he's... time in the world. He yeah. knows if he just stays patient. To now win the he has the fight. information and, and do comes down. Oh, he fakes, fakes the jump. Fakes. And there we go. <laughs> win the game play? out. What a what play! A play! What a way to win the game out! Be Absolutely much. no way that Shaw would have expected that. That's just incredible. How do you do that? Like balls to do that is is something out of this world. GG's indeed. Congratulations to Team Eagle for winning the whole tournament in such a beautiful fashion as well. If you got this far, please write in the comments, I was here. So you let me know that you are the legend who had the patience to watch the video till the end. What do you think? Should I host these kind of tournaments in the future as well?